Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And with over 1500 videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you the software for the Tesoro Lobera Supreme keyboard. What we have here is a pretty basic software. And one thing I do notice though is that you cannot stretch this window out, unfortunately. Uh, I would definitely like to be able to make it bigger so I can see the keys better. We've got the name of the keyboard here in the top left corner. We have the Tesoro logo here, which gives you information on how to contact their tech support. A minimize button, a close button, and a help button. Help button brings you to their website with information. And a picture of the keyboard itself, as well as a profile reset button here. A status of your memory and then this will pop up with whatever key you have selected so technically you have six modes you have PC mode and you have five custom profiles in PC mode you can't change anything you've got just your basic functionality and that's great for doing your typical desktop tasks doesn't lock out your Windows key or anything like that and then once you go into one of your profiles you can see that a lot of other buttons light up. You can do a profile reset. You can sync the program. You can access the thumb key settings, import profiles, export them, and this little purple arrow here, which isn't really labeled very well, is what allows you to change the coloring of the backlight because this does have custom backlighting on it. So profile one, you can click on the little blue square here and change the color to red for example or pink and then hit OK and it'll change the lighting on the keyboard and set that for that profile. Once you hit apply it saves it to the keyboard. So you have your sync program function down here if we open that up you get a little window here to configure which profile selected when certain programs are launched so you can click here, the little folder icon here next to the one, and then go into your program files and select the executable for, say, Battlefield 4. And once you load Battlefield 4, it'll automatically switch the keyboard into Profile 1 mode. So if you set up profiles for specific games, then you can set it so those profiles automatically load and you don't have to change them. Granted it's easy enough to change them because there are physical buttons on the keyboard using function F8 through F12 you can pick your profiles. You also have thumb key settings here and if you go into there then you can set um, the thumb keys to do certain things for example, left shift, control, alt, shift, so that you have quick access to those buttons. Or you can, of course, hit edit and record um, a macro as well by selecting which one you want to press or one, which one you want to set. Press OK. And then you go into the macro recording here where you can name it. And you can save these as well insert single keys or insert a copied item of keys here you would hit start record to record your keys stop record to not record it and you can set a delay you can set repeat so that after a certain amount of time it repeats or it only repeats if the key is being held down or until the next key is pressed pretty neat pretty powerful macro functionality and if we cancel out of that you also can reroute your key assignments so say I've selected the escape key you can set your key assignments so that you can assign it to a different key if you wanted your one to be an H you can assign it to H. When you press 1, it'll pr press H instead. So definitely kind of neat if you're setting up a profile again for a specific game, you can make your keys do whatever you really want them to do. Uh, we would call that key redirecting, I guess. You can set 
certain keys to launch a program as well so you have a hard shortcut key to um, that program so say you picked your nine key and you wanted to launch a program you would click launch program again browse to the, your program files and pick your exe file then when you press that it'll launch that program Macro settings also brings up the same Macro recorder that the thumb key settings brings up so you can set any of these keys to run a macro as well so just like your thumb keys you can set these to to run a macro and you would do it the same way as the thumb keys say you want to do a macro in any of your other keys you certainly have that option any of these keys can be used and what you would do is you would select it and go into macro settings just like you did for your thumb key settings and you get the same macro recorder that you're able to use for those keys so you would do that the same way that you do the thumb key settings another thing definitely uh, key, key reassignment I actually reassigned the Q to a G just to show an example that you do get your key down here and it shows the key reassignment right down here right next to it just so you know that that's been reassigned if we hit profile reset that'll clear that out and you'll notice that it's gone from here now once you hit apply it loads the settings and saves them to the keyboard once it's done with that the keyboard itself will reset but it will have all your settings saved on it so you will be able to take it with you and go and you'll have all of your macros that you've recorded and any profiles that you've set stored right in the keyboard's memory. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful to you in learning how to use the Lobera Supreme software from Tesoro. Definitely check out our full review at www.hitechlegion.com. That's H-I-TechLegion.com. And please remember to subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter pages. Take care.